Rusty Cage, tell us the story about your friend who murdered somebody again. I love <laughs> every single comment. Just knew his full name, middle name included. Oh. Oh god! All right. Well, I don't know if I mentioned on the uh, the last podcast, the one, like the, the final uh, state of the YouTube podcast, but he is out on bond, <laughs> from what I understand. Oh so. god! And he That's listens good. to this show. He's coming for you. Oh man! I, I would, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him. I always thought that like uh, hit and runs are, aren't the same as murder. Well, he, he fled the scene, and he knew that he struck somebody. I would call him a murderer to his face, yeah, but, even if he was I mean, holding a weapon, I would say. It. If you think you accidentally just murdered somebody, uh, you're probably not going to be thinking straight at all. Well, you're, you're calling him a homosexual now? That's a little too far. I mean, murderer yeah. is one thing, but gay? Well, I mean, that way you well, can... All right, yeah. here's, here's the thing. I actually talked to... Um, the, the, the news article stated that like he had like called up two friends and confided in them one of them was you and, oh shit no no it wasn't me but i know the person you know he's like what the fuck like why did you call me to tell me this like instantly got him yeah you know in, in trouble like yeah he's an accomplice now so i i think he ended up kind of snitching on the dude i'm not really sure yeah you probably of, should because you could yeah. probably get locked up big time for that shit well, oh, fucking right. Or at least try talking him into like, no, dude, you hit like, cause you can think straight. He can't, you know, he's involved right, in this, right. like, like his, uh, adrenaline is probably through his ears or something. You can try. Yeah. Yeah. Reactor. Like, what would you do? Like so you're, you're driving. I don't know. Maybe you, uh, look down at your phone. I'm not really sure what the situation was. It was I think he was early. wasted. Well, like what I would do well, is it was, still, it was on the way to if, the bar. So <laughs> it, it he pre-gamed. If, if you accidentally kill someone, you don't just leave the body laying around you know <laughs> oh jesus yes like no yeah, you seriously take it home. seriously no honestly what i would have done is i would have probably i mean i wouldn't call it a body because I, I would try i you know bringing them back to life if they were like unconscious yeah, the, right the first thing you would do is probably what stop and then check on them yeah then i would uh throw them in the back seat start driving as fast as i can to the car wash then to the hospital and uh -huh. <laughs> and then i would Drop them off you in front of the priorities hospital. straight. Yeah, drop them off so, in front okay, of the hospital. No, right, I would, right. I would, I, so, but be, then you got to hope that there's no. Um, I, I mean, what what would that be if you were like covering up information? Right. Or I mean, up, like, by getting, it's not illegal <laughs> to wash your car. I mean, this first of all, this pedestrian was rude enough to spill her blood all over his vehicle. You don't want to show up to the fancy hospital, you know, like a just with a disgusting car. You got to clean that shit off first of all. Uh -huh. Well, you but didn't want reactor, to dent it in hood. You didn't reactor, want your, you, we, we all know you have like a, a Dr. Frankenstein style laboratory in your home. Maybe you can hook her up to some electrodes and really zap her back to life. Mm -hmm. Or at least keep her down there until I can figure out how to reanimate her. Right. Yeah. Even right. if the technology takes 50 years to develop, huh? like just keep her down in the basement until like, you get I wasn't, it. I wasn't covering it up. I was trying to save her life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it just took a, a long a time. <laughs> we have to discover the technology before that can happen. No, yeah. but to t totally seriously, I think I would, I mean, I, I would put them in my car, I guess, and call 911 no! as I drove. No. I'm not going to leave what, them there. What? You call, you stop, you call 911 and say, I just hit somebody, B bring an ambulance. You don't need to put them in your car. If that gives them a better chance of living. I don't think it does. Letting them sit With the there way you the drive, comes. you fucking drive into pedestrians. I don't think they'll be safe in oh, your right? car. Yeah, right. You don't want to be frantically driving. I don't know. No. But yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't run. I would. I don't know, man. I would yeah, call I would just accept and, that I'm yeah. going to prison. Really. At the very least, it'll help your case if you instantly did the right things. You know, considerably. And um, also, it, since the only witness is dead, you can just say she jumped in front of your car and try to frame it as a suicide. It, and and that is absolutely true. Yeah, that's yeah, what I would probably I think do. The, the quote was hit something, someone, or something. Uh, you probably would know if if it was something. Yeah, it sounds like it was daylight out. So wouldn't he have seen pick, what he hit? You pick the body up and throw it in the nearest bush, and then call nine one. Like I think I hit something. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I, I, I just want to report this because I don't know if it was an animal. There's no animal here. There's just, there's just blood on the ground. I think they tried running away. Maybe they vaporized. Yeah, I think it was a deer uh, right in the middle of the city. It just kind of jumped out from behind this I, I building. Must, I must have just maimed it because it, it seems to have led a trail of blood to the bushes. <laughs> and also, I'm covered in blood. <laughs> That's because I, I got out and, and rolled in the blood to try to 
get it sent on me. Honestly, Reactor, if you ever accidentally cause somebody's death, you should pull your emergency beanie out from the backseat of your car <laughs> and just say, hi, my name's Tim Poole. I just uh, I just struck somebody with my car. And they'll believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then everyone's maybe. safe. Well, I mean, yeah, so, you know, that that's the shitty thing about that whole story. Uh, Reactor, I'm glad to hear that you would, you would be very helpful in this situation <laughs> and... Yeah, by I promoting the, the local the economy consensus. by going to the car wash. <laughs> yeah, with like a dented in hood. <laughs> yeah. But there's no blood on it. So, I mean, I mean, I obviously didn't do anything. I bought the car with the dent in well, it. I think it's a good aesthetic choice. I, I drive an SUV, so it probably wouldn't get any damage. I don't drive oh, like yeah, an 80s was... Buick or something. Well, Rusty, you are, are you worried now that everybody knows this guy's name and this guy's out on bond that he might be looking for a second victim over at their old oh, Rusty God. house? Uh, no, because I'm just reporting what I know. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, and, and what I know is is just essentially what everyone knows. It's like imagine how news reports. Imagine how fortunate you are that he didn't call you. <laughs> Oh my God, man. All right. So yeah, I was thinking about this, you know, all, all your friends, whenever they're like, dude, if you ever need to hide a body, <laughs> you know, I'm the person to call up fucking. They're always lying because the second you call them up, like, Hey man, I need to hide a body. They're like, why the fuck did you call <laughs> yeah, me? No, what the fuck, man? Yeah. We've all been there. I only said that cause I thought you weren't a murderer. Yeah. I didn't think this was actually going to ever be something I'd have to follow up on. Just yeah, being very generous. Nobody says it to their their creepy sociopath friend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, they never get those offers. <laughs> well, Rusty, your friends <laughs> I'll, know I'll better. Keep that in mind. Your friends know better than to trust you with a crime because you're the one who snitched about the slushy machine, I believe. Oh no, that wasn't me. That was uh that was Teeny, I believe. Oh. Uh, no, nah, I think it was you. I saw a whole video of you like discussing the whole thing. I just threw it all out there. That was the first time. That was we your confession video afterwards. that you posted on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, if I had done it, this is how it would have happened. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure to subscribe to the new Trash Rats channel. That's right, we moved our channel. This is the, the, the link will be down below. Uh, the new channel is where we'll be posting all the full-length episodes. What you just heard is just a clip. This is now the Clips channel, so go subscribe no. to the new channel.